Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today you are going to learn how to use MicroProfile configuration with Quarkus. MicroProfile configuration or MicroProfile config is a solution to externalize configuration from microservices. Let's start. First, let's create a new Quarkus project. Click on Next. Here, let's put the group and artifact ID org.js and then Quarkus microprofile config and the class name org.js.config resource. Very well. Then click on next. Here let's select just rest easy JAXRS. Then click on next and then click on finish. Very good. Now inside the POMXML, by default, you can see the dependency Quarkus Arch. Now let's go inside the, the config resource file. And here you can find a simple uh, REST endpoint, get, with the name hello, that will return a string hello REST easy. Very good. Now let me delete just the index.html inside metainf resources. Good. Then open the terminal and type mvn compile quarkus dev to run the project in development mode. Very good. Our server is up and running and listening on a port 8080. Now let's go inside Postman to try it out. Select the get method, then HTTP localhost 8080, and then click on send. Very good, we receive the string hello rest easy. Now what I want to do, I want to use the macro profile config in order to remove this string hello rest easy and get it from the application property file. So let's create our first uh, property inside application.properties and type config.message.inject. This one is a custom property with the value hello from config resource and then inject. Now let's go back inside the config resource and to use this new property we need to add the annotation config property with the name of our property. So config.message.inject then we need to use also the annotation inject and then we can use uh, a string object to store the value of our variable, so string message. Good, now let me just change the name of the method from hello to get config inject. And of course, instead of return hello rest easy, I'm going to return message. Good, now go inside Postman to try it. So again, get localhost 8080 and then click on send. Very good, we receive back the response hello from config resource inject. And this one is the value that we uh, put inside the property config message inject. Now I want to show you what will happen if we remove uh, this property inside the application properties. So let's go back inside Postman, click on send. And here you can see that we receive back an error from the server. To avoid this behavior, we can use the default value inside the annotation config property. And uh, as a default value, I'm going to put hello default value. It's just a string, get that in case of 
in case of the property config message in just doesn't exist, uh, the server will return back the default value. Let's try go inside Postman, again click on send, and now we receive uh, not anymore the error, but default value of our property, so in this case, hello default value. Let's move on, and now I want to show you how you can use the config provider to uh, fetch the value of the property config message inject. Now let me create a new endpoint, always a get endpoint. I'm going to call it get message by config provider. And inside I'm going to type config, config equal config provider dot get config and then string message equal config get value. I'm going to put the name of the property config.message. in this case provider and then string class and finally I can return the message. Now let's go inside application properties and let's create a new one. So config.message.provider equal hello from config resource, in this case provider. Very good, now let me add the path slash provider. Now go inside Postman. Always a get localhost 8080 slash provider and then click on send. Very good, we received the message hello from config resource provider. Now let's imagine that we don't have the property config message provider inside application properties and see what will happen. And now receive back an error message from the server. So to avoid this behavior, we can use not the get value uh, method from config, but another one. So let me just copy and paste here the, the endpoint. Let me change the path provider to provide optional. Also the name of the method from get message by conf provider to get message by conf provider optional. Let me remove this part and then let me just write return config provider dot config dot get optional value. Let's put inside the name of the property config.message.provider and then string.class and then dot or else and I'm going to put an empty uh, string. So in this case, if we don't have the property config message provider, um, the config provider will return an um, empty string. Let's try to go in Postman type uh, provider optional, click on send, and here we, we receive an empty string. Let's go back inside application property, put it back the property config message provider, go again set postman, click on send, and now we receive the message hello from config resource provider. Of course, if I go back to the other endpoint slash provider, uh, I will receive the same response. And of course, uh, if we uh, use the slash, so localhost 80 slash, we receive back what? Hello from config resource inject.
last but not least i want to show you the custom config bin so let's create a new java class custom config inside the class custom config let's add the annotation config properties with the prefix uh, it will up and inside the custom config let's add a public string message with the annotation config property with the name message Now go inside the application properties and add the property app.message with the value custom config message. And of course, as you can see here, the app part is related to the bin custom config class and the part message is related to the uh, field string message. Let's jump inside the config resource. Let's create a new endpoint, always a get. I'm going to put as a path slash custom. Uh, always public string get custom config and here i will return what custom config dot message where of course i need to inject the custom config so type annotation inject then custom config custom config where of course the custom config is our bin where we put the annotation config properties with the prefix app and just one property config property message. Let's try, go inside Postman, type slash custom, then click on send. As you can see here, we receive the message, custom config message. Now I want to show you how it's easy to add a new property inside our custom config bin. App.message, true in this case, equal such true. Then go inside the custom config.java, let's copy the message, I'll put it there, change the name from message to, and then just go uh, inside the config resource Java and uh, type uh, plus con custom config.message to. Let's go inside Postman, click again on send, and here you can see the message, let's say message, and the value of the app.message to. The source code of this video you can find it inside my GitHub repository, Quarkus Microprofile Configuration. Feel free to clone it. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or doubts, don't hesitate to contact me and see you in the next video about Quarkus. Bye!